I'm so thrilled to meet you. Oh, it's great to meet you too. You know how much I love this film. Well, I do now. I can... <laughs> it was wonderful what you said. Thank oh you so much. Oh my God. How did you even embark and approach this venture? You've got a play within a film and it, it's just, so you have two distinct visual looks going on with the theater aspect, but then the cinematic aspect. So talk to me. Well, it was, uh, it was something I've been dreaming of for a long time. I grew up doing tons of theater and I always loved all the crazy superstitions. It's just, I think it's wonderful. And uh, so I just thought it'd be great to think about what is the biggest superstition in theater is is the, 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 the curse of Macbeth. So. We said, I, I talked to Jeff and I said, I've got this one sheet, I, I wrote up this idea and I said, you know, what do you think of this? And he goes, wow, that could be really fun. And so we just started to kick it around and dream up these characters and this, this crazy place and this scenario of, of what happens and, and like, well, if we did set up the curse, what would that mean? You know, what, where does it come from? Because Shakespeare wrote all this wonderful, uh, real black magic into the incantations that the witches say in Macbeth. And so we kind of ran with that and, and, and it was just so much fun. It was so much fun to come up with this. this, this oh, and, you know, and then you got impeccable casting going on here. Of course, my favorite surprise was Scott Adsit. Mr. Bay, watch himself. Baymax himself. I mean, I love Scott dearly. You know, um, but you know, and Carol Kane. There couldn't be a more perfect witch. But and you know, Carrie Elwes. Here you are. You're casting him. You know, the prince from Princess Bride as Macbeth. But he's a total. He's anything but a prince. He is a total buffoon. Until the curse gets started, right? And then yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you cast against type in one respect. You know, and then like with Carol, that was perfect. She was our first choice. We couldn't have, we, we thought if anybody could play Madeline, it would be her. And I would, you know, it just, it, it, it made me feel so good because it speaks to the quality of our script. That, that this wonderful, wonderful cast all responded as well as they did and, and wanted to come and do it. It was fantastic because this was just a little movie we made in Massachusetts and, and we got such terrific actors and they do such a great job. I'm so pleased. You know, and Shannon, Shannon has a lot more depth to her than people have ever given her credit for. We saw that in the last, in, in the Insidious that she did. And she and I sat down and talked about that for a long time um, and what she brought to the table. She does that here as Lady Macbeth too. Yeah, I think she's just a wonderful actor, and she she brought so many layers to that part. I mean, the the part Lady Macbeth is is the biggest challenge to any actor, and let alone a character who is who is mirroring that in her own life as she's playing the part in the play within the movie. So yeah, and you know she she was fun to work with because she just she struggled but she figured it out, and she just gave such a wonderful nuanced performance. I just oh I you. You know, I mean, everybody just top notch. And then, of course, your whole look of the film. Are you trying to hustle me along, Courtney? Well, I'll t since you and I are going to talk tomorrow yes. for 25 minutes. Fantastic. So I will save everything. Out, even though I'm dying to talk to you about everything about this film now, because it's so gorgeous and I love it so much. I will, I will contain myself for tomorrow. Oh, great. It's wonderful to meet oh, you. Oh, wonderful. And we'll see you tomorrow. And yeah, so fun. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Oh, Thanks. people are going to love this film. They're going to love you. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see.